welcome to KVS channel. Now in this video session, I would like to uh, write a, uh, develop an algorithm uh, for generating B strength code. Now this algorithm can be uh, carried uh, done in two video sessions. In this video session, I will be writing the main body. In the second video session, I would like to write the program for the recursive function of B spline uh, bending function. So B spline algorithm. Okay, now then in the first step, read the control points data x1 i, y1 i, and i is equal to 0 to n. That means for n coordinates, uh, uh, n, n degree, n, n, n plus 1 control points are happening to the hand. In the second, second, read the degree of freedom k, it is between. 1 less than or equal to k less than or equal to n. Any value between 1 to n can take the degree of it. The third, to find out a value of uj, okay, uh, this uj uh, will be uh, having a value of 0, j minus k plus 1 n minus k plus 2. So out of these values will be having value and z will be varying from 0 to n plus k. Okay and in the fourth uh, we are trying to find out u max. u max is equal to n minus k plus 2. Okay and uh, the differential u is equal to u max uh, sorry u max by 100. Okay, now here the, I'm assigning u is equal to 0. Next, we are having two loops. In the first loop for i i is equal to 0, i i less than or equal to 100, i i plus plus. Now here you are trying to define two variables. Sum 1 is equal to 0, sum 2 is equal to 0. Okay, now another for loop I am trying to define here for i is equal to i less than or equal to n i plus plus. Okay, now sum 1 is equal to sum 1 plus x1 i into this is n i k building from uh, recursive function i k u j and u the variables are taking and sum 2 is equal to sum 2 plus y1 i l i k i k u j and u so there are two uh, equations and here we will be completing this uh, for loop and uh, x u is equal to x b plus sum 1 y u is equal to y d plus sum 2 ok and uh, plot x u y u and here uh, the second main loop you are trying in closing so like that for every value of uh, for 100 parametric values between 0 to uh, you will be plotting uh, x u and y u and uh, this is how you can generate a display curve. Okay. And in next session, I'll be writing an algorithm to generate n i k i k u j for this, this functional. Thank you for watching this video session.